some facts about the Russian forces attack, especially in Mariupolis. In fact, they decided what? To say that the problem is finished, we solve it, we fix it, and they try to convince us that there is no more problem in this region and in this area, especially in Mariupol. In fact, we know that is not the case. We have still Ukrainian soldiers there. They are going to continue to be there, but also to fight against Russian forces. I think in reality that the Russian forces have estimated that they will take high casualties if they resume the major ground assault in the plant. So the reality is very easy. For Russian, they have a goal, only one goal, I think so for the moment, May 9. So it's of course a self-imposed deadline, but it's not sufficient to get a result, a positive result in Mariupolis. So they have to decide to do something else. That's why they have this kind of declaration, uh, even from Putin. Uh, the problem is rather different from other areas. So, in fact, they are going to complete, I think, accelerate efforts to secure Mariupol. For what reason? In fact, they don't want to lose something at the end of the process. By the way, they're trying right now, also with the problem of uh, Transnistria, to say, you know, we have many anti-Russian sentiment, and in fact, also anti-Ukrainian sentiment. But in Moldova, there is a problem. I think that in reality, it's only a false flag attack. The reality of the army there, of the Transnistrian forces, they are totally insufficient to, to do something in this invasion. But the idea, I think so, is to say that, you know, there are many peoples who want to be with us, with the Russian, I mean, and we have to save them from the others. Of course, it's a joke. Of course, it's propaganda. But never mind. For those who don't know anything about the problem, they can be convinced that there is a reality on that. So we have two things. The problem with Transnistria is not a problem. The problem with Mariupol is a problem. So between these two targets, we have something different. Uh, I think is the third phase of this invasion. They try what? They try to get uh, not only Donetsk and Luhansk, Maybe they will go to Zaporizhia. They have to solve some problem and fix some of them in Kherson also uh, to get all this area because, in fact, we have already Ukrainian counterattacks in this area. And maybe the idea of uh, the Russian forces is to prepare new attacks, new counter-attacks on the other one, to get also a contact and a link, especially with Mykolaiv. Because the idea at the high level is to say that we can control all the uh, sea area. For the moment, it seems almost impossible. But never mind. This is a target. They are talking about that maybe before the chosen date. But I think we should concentrate and focus our mind in another area very close to Donetsk, because for them, it's impossible to avoid some towns 
if you want to say that I control Donbass. So this is a real problem. So the others are only details for the moment. Of course, we have to use it and to exploit them to counterattack this propaganda. But the reality is to avoid the link between the two areas. So I mean, one of the area is more close to Luhansk, the other one to Donetsk and uh, Mariupol, of course. And at the end, to avoid another bridge in military term with Zaporizhia, because it will be, in fact, small solution, small, but a solution for Russian forces to say that, okay, we control all this area. Now we want to finish the whole process. So we have win, but in reality, it's only a defeat. So the first defeat was the Battle of Kiev. Now we have a problem at this level. And the other problem, we see it because they make some attacks against some specific targets which are, in fact, the radio way. So they want what? They want to disturb and maybe to disrupt the Ukrainian reinforcement from Western aid shipments. And I think this is important to see that in this invasion, uh, the first idea was an idea which belongs to grand strategy. We want to control all the area of Ukraine. Now, we have a problem at the tactical level. And right now, we are speaking just about logistics. So they see that there is a problem because with the support of uh, Europe and especially United States of America, right now, they can't win, really. So they just have to say it and to convince their guys. But the reality is different. That's why I'm thinking that we have to reinforce Ukrainian forces with weapons. Uh, I think that the U.S. does a very good job for the moment. Maybe we should do some more efficient contacts. But... At the end of the process, we already see that uh, this invasion is a defeat for Russia. Uh, Russia is, in fact, a fake power. And the proof it belongs to Ukrainian people. So right now, we can say what? We have three axes. Uh, we can use them. One of them is where Kharkiv is Yum, the other one is Kiev, okay? And the other one is the Southern Axis. I think the, the last one is a problem until now, but we can do it. So the victory is not just a probability. It's in fact a vision for our strategy in Ukraine. And we have to fix some problem and set up some basis about that to restart the whole process. We are not at this level just in a phase of uh, resistance. Uh, there is already a counterattack, and we have to finish uh, the third phase of uh, the Russian attacks because they do not have anything to do more than this in this area. So it's possible not only to resist, but also to win. And now we have uh, to transform this possibility in a reality.